let's continue the seven vows of Jesus we have completed four and this is the fifth one I am reading the Gospel of Matthew chapter 23 verses 27 5 to 26 Gospel of Matthew chapter 23 verses 25 and 26 Wow to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside also will be clean. There is a temptation to practice hypocrisy in any religion. Temptation to be so good outside. It looks like we are so holy outside, which is important. But God looks at inside holiness because God always looks at inside. Because God lives in our heart. Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. But many a times, religious leaders, Jesus is attacking these religious leaders, poor innocent believers, they always, you know, faithful, they cry, they weep, they fast, and they want to be good in inside and outside. But the problem with the religious leaders, the teachers of the law, to that community, Jesus says, Oh, to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, those who are the teachers of the law and the Pharisees were the religious leaders. Even today in Christian church, you know, across the globe, believers, you know, the ordinary believers are always, they look to God and they're honest and they try to be, please God. But it is their problem with the religious leaders. Oh, to you, the teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. These religious leaders, mostly hypocrites. Why hypocrites? Because you clean the outside of the cup and dish. But inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Outside holiness, inside greed and indulgence. Indulging in different desires of the flesh the sexual perversion, the greediness for money. You know, Jesus uh, in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, he clearly says, the disciples came to him and asked him, do you know what the Pharisees were offended when they heard this? Pharisees were offended many times, many a times when Jesus spoke. He replied, every plan that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them. They are blind guides. They are blind guides. Yes. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 says they are blind guides. Even this chapter 23, Jesus says they are blind guides. Verse 26, blind Pharisee. First clean the inside of the cup and dish. Why they are blind? Because they, they don't want to see the inside of their heart. They always wanted to clean outside. Religion teaches to be good all the time outside. Giving tenth to God. Reading the Bible. Praying. Going to church. And uh, giving money to the poor. They are all important. But that's not all. People may be good on that. But if you are not merciful, if there is no justice, addicted to bribing, oppressing the weak, God cannot tolerate. What is important is inside. What Jesus said, no, what goes inside doesn't defile a man. But what comes from inside out matters a lot. That's the reason Jesus says, are you still so dull? 
Matthew's Gospel chapter 15. Jesus asked them, Don't you see that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body? Now what we eat, it goes inside. These Pharisees and the teachers, they were so particular what to eat, what not to eat. Small, small things. They make small things so major. Jesus says, what eat? And now you eat, it goes, it digested, and it goes as a stool. Finish. But the things that come out of the person's mouth came from the heart. What goes inside, that's not the so much, you know, priority. Of course, they are important, but there are small things. But Jesus clearly says, but the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart. What comes from? What comes out of the mouth, they come from the heart of a person. Because this is the seat of the sin here. For out of the heart, heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. These are what defile a person. But eating with unwashed hands does not defile them. These Pharisees and the teachers of law, they were so particular. You wash your hands and all. You, you, so much religious rules and regulations which are important, but they are not major things. Making minor things as a major and major things are minor. In that context, Jesus says, O oh, to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You clean the outside of the cup and dish. What is the outside? You know, it's all religious rules and regulations. Blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and dish. Clean the inside of your heart, cup and dish. And then the outside also will be clean. Once the inside purity maintains, the outside automatically, your religion, religious practices will be good. May God help us to be pure in our heart. Because Jesus said, Blessed are the pure in heart, where they will see God. Thank you, friends. God bless you. And we have completed five vows of Jesus. In our next teaching, we will look at the fifth vow.